as if concrete includes the design of multi-span continuous beams. But how do you actually design the beam? How do you enter the information in the program? How do you check the results? How do you optimize your design? And finally, how do you print out the report? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to discuss the user interface in As Deep Concrete. We're going to answer all these questions, and you're going to see how easy and how fast it is to design multi-span continuous beams in As Deep Concrete. Let's get started. When you open As Deep Concrete, this is the project manager. Here you can see the modules, including the program, uh, concrete columns, concrete beams, and concrete or masonry bearing walls. Today we're going to design a concrete beam. To open a calculation, just click on the button, assign a name, add, and the calculation is added to the tree. We'll open the calculation. This is the template of a beam design in fast zip concrete. Basically, in the left pane, you enter the information. In the right pane, you see the results. In the left pane, you have several tabs. The first tab is the geometry tab. Here you specify the type of beam according to the cross-sectional shape, rectangular beams, T-beams, spandrel beams, inverted T, or L-beams. Once the type of beam has been selected, you enter the dimensions of the section here. In this case, we're going to design, for example, a T-beam. You need to enter the total height, the beam width, the, uh, the web, and the flange thickness, and the flange sizes. And the program internally checks some geometric constraints in the code. Also, you need to specify the number of supports. The maximum number of supports that is allowable is six supports, which means five spans. In this case, we're going to use four supports as an example. And the program also allows you to specify two cantilevers, a right cantilever and a left cantilever. Graphically, you can see the beam here. In this case, I'm specifying three spans, 24 feet, 24 feet, and 26 feet. And the beam looks like that. In addition, we are specifying a right cantilever, six feet, that is shown also graphically there. The next step is to specify the material properties you go to the materials tab. Here for concrete, you need to enter the uh, F prime C and the maximum compression strain limit, 003 per ACI, and the concrete density. Also, the stress strain relationship. The program allows you to specify either Hognestad, uh, parabolic curve, or the Whitney equivalent block. For steel, you need to specify FY. And the stress strain relationship is elastoplastic, the bilinear relationship, or including the strain hardening area in steel. Once this information is entered, you can move to the loads tab. Here you specify the loads on the on the beam. The program accepts uniform, variable, concentrated loads, and moments anywhere in any span. To specify the span, you go to the segment box here and select the, uh, the segment you are interested in, span 1, span 2, span 3, or right cantilever. For example, we want to enter some loads in, in span number 2, so we are adding some loads in this span. To simplify the input, the program lets you copy the loads from one segment to the other segments in the, in the beam. Regarding the load combinations, as if concrete lets you specify a set of uh, load cases, uh, dead life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. Or you can specify a pre-combined set of factor loads. This second option is useful when, for example, you are using the loads as the, as the output from another software and you want to input in, uh, in as deep concrete. Otherwise, you can enter just the load cases and you specify the loads per load case. Please note that the units of loads are KSF, so it's the load per square foot, and then you affect this load by the tributary area of the beam. Typically, the tributary width is the spacing between parallel beams. Finally, you move to the reinforcement tab. You can enter here 
the rebar information for the top rebars, for the bottom rebars, and for the stirrups in the beam. Typically, you specify the, the rebar sizes and the number of rebars. And in the case of a stirrup, you need to specify the bar sizes and the spacing. On the right side, when you click on the Ara Glance tab, you can see a summary of the results in just one page with a quick summary of all the results. So you can see immediately what, what is failing, what is passing. For example, in this case, the stirrup spacing is failing. It's 90% over. So we know exactly what to look immediately here. If we go to the Condense tab, you can see a more detailed set of results. They are organized by topic per load combination. In this case, with, with, we can see here the reactions, the bending moments, the bending capacity here, the shear forces, the shear strength, the deflections, and here are some reinforcement ratios. Finally, the load combinations. If we go to the detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas and uh, references to the ACI code, also organized by topic, so the shear design. So this is a great tool for a granular check of your, of your design. Here you can follow up the calculations step by step. Graphically, the program generates the shear diagram and the moment diagram for the whole beam or just for a, for a specified segment. This is span number one or for the whole beam. The results can be sorted by load combination. So you can see what combination is controlling here. If you click on this box, you can see the shear capacity of the beam. In green color, the program shows the, the portion VBC, which is the portion uh, from the concrete only. And in blue is the VVS, the portion of the stirrups. Likewise, if you click on this box, you can see the bending capacity of the beam. A good design will show the bending moment completely inside the blue envelope, representing the capacity of the beam. And the same applies for the shear. To optimize the design, you can either change manually the values here and changing the spacing of the stirrups or the number of rebars, or you can go to this to this button. This is uh, the design manager, which uh, when you enter the preferred rebar sizes, the program calculates the number of rebars or the spacing of stirrups for an optimum design. This is what I have done here, and uh, this is an optimum design. Finally, if you go to the construction tab, the program generates uh, beam elevation showing the rebars that you just designed with the lengths, with the sizes, also with the spacing of stirrups. So you can see here immediately if you have any problem with the spacing or you have any problem with the length of the rebars. So the issue can be corrected immediately. Once you have optimized the design and you are satisfied with the numbers, you can print out the report. You go to the print preview here. You can print the, the contents report. Four pages. We can see all pages there including the uh, images. So you can print out as well this report, or you can print preview the detailed report as well. Eight pages. So you can see all the pages there, including, including all the images as well. And also you can print out this report. If you go to the load combinations, you can specify either S705 or S710 or 16, or inclusive, you can define your own load combinations here. You enter the load, the load factors, and you can save your own combination for future use. The program works with the following uh, system of units. US units, Imperial, with the kips, feet, inches, or KSI. 
or SI, International System of Units, kiloneurons, meters, centimeters, or megapascals, or the MKS system, tons, meters, centimeters, kilograms per square centimeter. As you can see, it's very easy to enter the information in the user interface. It's very intuitive and very easy. And you can complete the design, optimize the design in, in minutes. With this, we complete the presentation of the user interface of ASDIC Concrete. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for uh, similar videos. Thank you very much for your attention.